Hello everyone. In the last session, we have discussed about Altrex software, what is Altrex, how it is useful, and how to create the sample workflows. Today, we will extend it and we will see other tools, how to club the data from different data sources, and how to get our required output. So that's the reason why we are working on Altrex software, why we are using it, because it's making our life easier. It helps us to do the same work what we spend hours. The same thing can be done in just few hours or few minutes. Okay, so that is what Altrex is going to help us. So we will get the data from different sources, different databases, different cloud applications, anywhere, and we will merge them. We will work on it. We will prepare the data, clean it, okay, and we will get the final output. That final output can be feed it into any sources. We can feed it to SQL Server. We can schedule it. So it will be running at a different interval of time. Okay, all that we can do using Altrex. So today we'll start uh, and we'll see that how to club or how to join multiple tables. So what we'll do, like we will have an input data tool. So this is the tool which helps us to bring the data from any kind of sources. So we will bring it here on your canvas. So as we discussed last time that this is called canvas here. So we will just bring it here and we will go and select our source from where you want to bring the data. So I'll just click on file. Okay, I'll go to my folder where I have a lot of data sets. I'll select Superstore subset. Okay, and then I'll say, okay, open. So this way, what it will do, it will load a lot of so files to me. So these are the sheets available in that particular spreadsheet. So I will select, let's say, orders. And a lot of us, people, like, uh, people might have seen this data. They might have worked on the data. So you people are more familiar on this data set if you have worked on that. So here it is something like sales data where we have regions. It is specifically based on US data. So here we have regions, states, cities. We have sales, profit, discount, shipping costs, order IDs. So this is something related to sales data. Okay. So it's quite easy to understand. And when you understand the data, then only you can easily work on it. So in our area where we work on data all the time, this is the first thing what we need to know. First, understand the data. What is the data and what all the values are there in your data columns? So this way, like we'll try to see and find out something. Okay. Here you see that this is my data set, which is getting loaded here. So I have few data sets, columns, rows, all that is showing up here. This is just a preview of data. And this is one thing what I want to bring up. Now, what I will do, I will add what I want. My requirements to have a join data from multiple sources. So this is my main data set. Okay. Now I want this to be joined with some other data set. Okay. So this is what like we do in our real time environments where when we are working on the real time requirements, our data might be coming from multiple sources. Now I cannot work on multiple files all the time. So what I'll do, I will merge them. I will combine them. I club them. Okay. So this way, what I will do, I will bring the data or required columns from other tables, other sheets, other sources to my main data. So that's what we're going to do here. I have left table here. I will load another input here. Just drop another input here and load the same file, means your sources. And now I will select another file here. So that other file is returns. So I want to know whether my orders were returned or not returned. So that information is in some other table. So I have to bring that information in my main data set. So I'll just say, okay, I will link this to my right table. So here you have left and right. Okay. And this is a join tool. So which will help you to uh, understand what kind of join you want to take or what kind of data you have to bring up here. You see, this is the columns. These are the columns which are coming from second table. So this way, what I will know that I want to bring up the status column in my main data set, which is not there, but this is my requirement. So, I will, I'm doing create, I'm creating a join. So what I will do now, I have to club the data for my left table and my matching records. So what I will do, I will just create a union here and add it here. So I'll bring union tool, drag it and drop it on my canvas. Now this union tool helps me to union the data based on multiple options or to configure by name, configure a position and manage configure fields. So I will do auto config by name. Okay. Then 
I will drag it here. But we miss something. We have not created the join here. So that is the important thing. So what we'll do, we will create a join based on, let's say I have region uh, order ID here and order ID from the second column, second table. Okay. So this way I could see that I have these many columns, two columns loaded from right table, which is order ID and status. I have order right order ID. I don't want to take this. Just uncheck this option here. Okay. I will get the status column. Let's see. Okay, so this is what I want to see. And this is the result I will get. Okay, this is fine. Now, if you click on the canvas, that error will not be showing up here. Now you will not get that red error. Now we have done union. Now we will get the data of it is basically a left order join. Okay. Now we want to see the output. Now, what I want, if you see that in this data, I have few order IDs only. And in my main data set, I have many order IDs. So only matching will be taken and whatever order IDs are not matching, those will be shown as empty. So I don't want to see it as empty. So what I want, I want some information to be shown on that particular empty value. So what I will do, I will add a formula to. So what we'll do, we will add a formula here. So formula tool helps us to create calculated columns calculated fields. We can create new fields or we can modify the existing fields. Yes, we can even modify the existing fields. So this way what we can do, we can write a condition which will modify or create a new column. Modify the existing or create a new column. So what I want, I want my order status, the column which is loaded from the table, second table to my main data set. I want empty values to be shown something different. Okay, some other value. So what I will do, I will just write a condition here. Here, if you see status is there. So I'll write a condition. If my status column, so I'll say is null. If it is null, then my status column is null, then if it is not null obviously it will be it will be uh, returning return value that is my values for that particular order ids and whatever is not matching it will be returning empty null i don't want to see null i will say if it is null then not return else then condition is if condition then true else false means l if this condition doesn't fulfill then return me the same thing whatever it is in the column so i will just give the call status then else status else condition then what do you do you have to end the statement you have to end or close the if statement so what i'll do i'll say and if so yes this is how like you have to end the statement if condition in your alteryx in other places you might have seen only and will complete your statement but here you have to say and if okay data type of this column it will be string yes it need to be a string now that's all my value so what i'm going to do instead of creating a new column i'm creating i am updating the existing column so this way i will see the data here now this is my main data i will just see select uh, select tool here and I will see the data here. And here you see, I see all the columns. I want to rename it as, okay, select tool will help me to rename or to change the data types and all. I will make it as order status. So this way I have done order status. I have still now, I have not executed the workflow. I will do it later. Now, again, what I need, I need to combine data from another source. Till now we have source one, source two, and I need another source three. From where again I need an extra column. What I'll do, I will say input. I will drop the input tool here. I will select the data, say file, same data set. I have another file, say open. It can be same or it can be any different. In the next sessions, like we will see different or databases sources. Here I have something called users table. Say okay. So here you see the central 
and manager so i have something some data like for which region who is the manager so regional manager okay i want this information in my main data set so i will do the same thing again say join join it here on what basis you want to join this now i will join it on region because region is a matching column that's a common element one of the prerequisites for creating a joins to have matching columns we will see different joins first these joins and all where we don't need if we don't have like a common element still we can join the data we will see those things those tools also but here we need a common element is done here again i will do the same stuff say union left click join so like this and this is my final data set so here let's suppose i want to see the final data set i will just click on a browse and here i will see my final data now what i need to do i need to execute the workflow so i will just run workflow here or you can say control r just click on that your workflow is created and you have the data coming from three different sources you have data coming from source 1 source 2 source 3 and now at the end you have a combined data coming from three different sources here you see this i have order status which was coming from source 2 which i renamed it to null values i renamed as not written right region which is a duplicate column which i can uh, remove it from here itself from the join or you can use a select tool you can remove this and now if you execute it again you will not have those duplicate columns so here you see that i have the data or a status which was coming from source 2 i have manager which is coming from source 3 so my this data set is a combination of three different different three different sources so this way what we do we do lot of things we do lot of joins calculations we can do lot of formulas we can create multiple formulas multiple conditions here i have just added or modified existing column if i want i want to create a new column that also i can do it here so this way we will see formulas all these tools in detail okay in future but this is how like your join works so join tool helps you to load the data to get the data combine the data from different sources so this is how you can do you can do this thing at your site you can work out by your own download at your software use it and get your insights and get your work done very quickly okay this is how you can see that now you can do lot of other things you want to do a cross tab you want to summarize the data say my requirement was to have the data on manager side so that was not there earlier but after doing this thing i could see that information what i will do i will use a summarize tool summarize tool help me to see the data in a summary summarize way the kind of uh, aggregated way okay so what i will do i have region here or let's say i just want to see manager wise sales just say add group by i want to see manager as group by and then i want to see sales let's say some i want to see profit to along with sales how much profit for each manager okay total sales okay this way now what i want anything else okay let's add order status too so let's know that what is a sales and what is a profit where the orders were shipped orders were written and not written i will just add that group by i will make it as a second item here okay that's all what we wanted i will add a select tool what it will do because my data will come as sum of sales sum of profit i don't want to show this way what i want i want to show total sales i want to show total profit so this way this is the information what i want to show it to the users or i want to bring it as a data so what i'll do i'll just see this and what else i will add a browse here just to see the final output or i can save it if i want i can save this output to any format it 
I can save it anywhere in my machine or in, in my database, anywhere. <clears throat> okay, so just see the output. What you have to do? You have to again execute the workflow. Say workflow. Say okay. Okay, here you are. You will see the final output here. Here you see. This is the output of your file. So your Chris, your manager, return, not return sales, profit. Chris, return sales and profits. So these are the things what you can do. Now, if you see that uh, here profits is giving me like here you have five digit, five decimal places, four decimal places and all. So it's not regular. So to all that to do all that stuff, we do this is what we do, like cleaning the data, making it into the required format. So again, we will do formulas. We will do all this stuff to get our desired art. So this is how like uh, join tool will help your work. Join tool will help you to get data from different sources and will make your life easier. I hope that you like this session. If you have any questions, you can always like comment in this video and I will definitely answer all those questions. Thank you very much. Have a great day.